Meanwhile, three people died in a head-on crash overnight on Maui. The crash closed Honoapi'ilani Highway and sparked more discussion about safety on our streets. KITV4's Paul Drews now joins us from the newsroom with details on what happened on the Valley Isle this morning. Paul. Well, Maui police have not yet released the names of those three who died as they're still notifying their next of kin. But they did explain what happened in this deadly accident. Just after 3 in the morning, two vehicles collided on Honoapilani Highway near Wahikuli Wayside Park in Lahaina. The accident being blamed on a speeding driver. That area in a lot of Maui has problems with speeding. The collision occurred as a gold-colored Ford Escape multipurpose vehicle operated by a 22-year-old male from Kihei was traveling north on, uh, on the highway at a high rate of speed when he crossed left the center and collided head-on into a gray Kia Soul. The Kia Soul on the left side of your screen ended in a mangled wreck. Inside was an 81-year-old driver. He was from Lahaina. So was his passenger, a 75-year-old woman. He was wearing a seat belt. She was not, but police say they both died at the scene. So did the driver of the Ford SUV, which not only crashed, but also burned. Following the collision, the Ford Escape was fully engulfed in flames, where Maui Fire Department Engine 3 and Ladder 3 responded to extinguish the fire. The deadly accident not only littered the road with debris, but closed Honoapi'ilani Highway for more than six hours, forcing other drivers to detour around the accident and snarl traffic during the morning rush hour. And by 8 o'clock, um, I diverted around Hokiokio just to get back to um, Lahaina Luna Road because the traffic had backed up so badly. And it looked as though it was at a standstill, but you know, having passed through earlier, I knew that there was a detour, detour route. There have been a number of deadly accidents on Maui roads, and Paulton adds council members are concerned about drivers and pedestrian safety, but have run into roadblocks with cutting down on those numbers of injuries and deaths. We're having problems filling all of the positions to implement those traffic safety measures. In the latest deadly crash, police are now waiting to see if along with speeding, drugs or alcohol were factors as well. They'll have to wait for toxicology reports from the medical examiner. Police also don't know if the driver of that Ford Escape died from the crash or the fire that engulfed his SUV afterwards. That will also be determined by the medical examiner. Reporting live in the newsroom, Paul Drews, KITV4 Island News.